We will be talking about one of the most important topics and that is arsenic contamination. Now before we begin understanding the contamination caused by arsenic, let's understand what is this arsenic and where it is actually present. So if we quickly look onto the periodic table, we have arsenic which is found at uh, atomic number of 33 and more interestingly as you can see the different colors that are present here. So boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, uh, money tellurium then you have estatin and also polonium are all considered as metalloids that means they are a kind of uh, intermediate between a metal or a non-metal this arsenic is very very unique now arsenic is found in groundwater as well as river water but the concentration that is found in the groundwater is much much higher and it is a very very costly affair in terms of the process of contamination the clarification or the removal of the arsenic that is seen from the groundwater however when it's present in river water it could be simply removed by the process of sedimentation either or by the process of chlorination so either of those processes if it is present in river water flowing water it can be easily removed but when it's present in groundwater it is much much more more difficult to remove it and we need to have arsenic removal units for the same and various technologies that we would understand towards the later section now talking about the proportion of arsenic in the soil now arsenic proportion in the soil varies how it varies let's say you have on an average that we believe is 0.1 to 40 parts per million the average is 5 to 6 parts per million again what we understand is in some parts the concentration has zoomed up up to uh, up to eight up to 8000 parts per million that have been seen so with such high concentration that is present in the soil this arsenic has become detrimental to human health now before we understand about the arsenic contamination more let's see where this arsenic is mainly found so this arsenic is found in most of the dietary sources fishes meat poultry milk dairy products then you have tobacco now tobacco is a very very important study that we need to understand because people who smoke tobacco are exposed to inorganic arsenic now inorganic arsenic is one which is not uh, bound to carbon and since it's not bound to carbon it is uh, highly toxic as compared to organic arsenic that is considered and this tobacco plant has a unique property to absorb arsenic from the soil and therefore in tobacco very very high concentrations of arsenic are found again you have various countries across the globe china then you have belgium morocco japan are some of the major producers of arsenic in the world now there are various ways in which arsenic is formed it could be found it could be arsenic acid so this is an example of arsenic acid and this is an example of arsenous acid so arsenous acid has three um, three atoms of oxygen that is present however the arsenic acid has four atoms of oxygen that is present arsenic can be found in a crystalline powder or amorphous form and this is a general structure in which arsenic is present now arsenic again could be AS3 or AS5. AS5 is known for chronic toxicity. However, AS3 is known for acute toxicity that is seen. Also, arsenic has unique usage. You might not believe, but arsenic is used for numerous things. One of the most interesting uses is uh, the samples that are preserved for taxonomy purposes for uh, the labs are preserved using arsenic. So that is one of the major cases. Then you have the PET scans. PET scans, you have much clear images from arsenic as compared to iodine-124 that is being used. Also, in the process of uh, glass, uh, you have pigments, adhesives, you have higher usage of arsenic that is found in the tanning industry, in the food additive industry, the feed processing industries, additives industries, you have the pharmaceutical industries, you have numerous and numerous uses of arsenic that are found. Again, when we are talking about so many uses, but 
there are numerous health impacts these health impacts are the impacts which lead to carcinogenic compounds and these carcinogenic compounds can cause can cause cancer of uh, uh, lung bladder kidney liver you also have nerve damages that are seen inhibition of uh, the enzyme uh, activation that is seen because of higher proportion of arsenic contamination muscle cramps discoloration of skin warts and uh, eventually multi organ failure are some of the major issues that are seen so arkinus uh, arsen arsenic conosis is one of the major diseases which cause which is caused because of the accumulation of higher proportion of arsenic in the human body and it can lead to multi organ failure as well we already started talking about organic and inorganic arsenics so what is the difference between the two as said inorganic is in a pure or metallic state is not bounded to carbon and therefore much more toxic however organic is covalently bonded with carbon that means the atoms are shared the arsenic atoms are shared and therefore is less toxic good examples of organic arsenic is you have arsenobutene and arsenocholine however arsenite and arsenate are examples of inorganic arsenic uh, argentina bangladesh child india mexico us are some of the classic examples now talking about the arsenic levels who guidelines recommends a proportion of arsenic which is 10 uh, 10 micrograms uh, per liter which is present now that is the permissible limit as given by who and that is adopted by united states so united states believes it to be 10 microliters however in bangladesh you have much higher proportions that are seen 21% of the total deaths in bangladesh are occurred because of higher proportion of arsenic in the soil and in india we believe the permissible limit is 50 micrograms per liter now 50 micrograms per liter is already a very very high concentration as per the permissible limits that is recommended by who so the areas adjoining bangladesh mainly west bengal parts of jharkhand then parts of uttar, uh, uttar pradesh and nepal are some of the regions where you have tremendously high proportion of arsenic that is present in the soil africa has proportions which are much much higher than believable so in some parts it is 1760 micrograms per liter also at the mining sites closer to mongolia where you have higher production regions of uh, regions of mexico and then hungary and romania in europe are the areas where you have significantly higher proportion of arsenic levels coming on to india as we said these are the areas which have higher proportion of uh, arsenic in the soil adjoining to bangladesh now exposure as we already said could lead to discoloration multi organ failure and warts in certain cases in 2009 we talked about how we can use arsenic removal units and these arsenic removal units could all could be for a domestic use or a commercial use but the idea is with help of alum and hematite granules you are trying to uh, go, uh, take the water move it through the sedimentation chamber and separate it through the sand bath and finally the water collected here is a kind of arsenic free water so water containing less than 15 parts per billion of arsenic and less than 1 parts per billion of uh, but uh, 1 mg per liter of iron is considered safe for drinking and that is what the standards we have laid down now coming on to prevention and control uh, substituting the high arsenic which is mainly the ground water source with the low arsenic which is the rain water or the surface water is a good idea or in certain cases we can blend the high arsenic and low arsenic uh, Uh, low arsenic waters also arsenic removal systems as we said are a important breakthrough technology besides that we have been using oxidation coagulation absorption ion uh, exchange technology uh, the risk monitoring that has been done some of the tube wells and the hand pumps have been painted and they have been painted to create an alert that this is a hand pump that has very very high proportion of arsenic so no more use that so testing of arsenic levels have 
have been done at a huge scale and then a lot of contamination has come up in the soil because of arsenic that is present it could be because of chemical uh, contamination or because of fecal contamination so that was about arsenic we would be covering many interesting such lectures in the upcoming session so stay tuned have a wonderful day ahead